combat bead. More ways than one. And if you need help, law enforcement can come and set this up for you. But we have a pretty significant bead problem. We use spray. We sealed up the hole. And we decided that maybe this is the best solution. So we will keep you posted on our results. Okay, so I just uh, took the top off of my shop vac to see how many bees we got in here today. Um, the vacuum ran for, I guess, about three hours, maybe a little bit longer. I gave it a break at one point just to, because it was getting pretty warm. But I put some, <clears throat> like, four inches of water in the bottom, and then I put some soap in there. I think I've used a little too much soap, but... Because when I opened the top, all you could see was soap. But all along the side, this is all leftover bee wings and there's one there. But then when you when you clear the soap off, that's what was in the bottom of the bucket. So yeah, there's there's a lot of bees up underneath that siding. And you know, this is a really good way to get it done because it's safe. You can keep your distance and you just let it run. And um, yeah, it just takes time and it clears them out and yeah, no more bees. So uh, pretty easy, I hope this is pretty easy to do. And again, it works good for siding. And uh, if you take a look at the other video that I did too, one thing that I noticed is you don't have to have it exactly in the right, right where they're going in and out. If you have it close, they end up getting irritated with it. They fly near it and then they just get sucked into the vacuum. So if you've got bees that are up underneath your siding and then they're, they're in an area where you can't spray them and you can't get to them, this is the this is the way to do it. So, all right, there you go. That's how you get rid of yellow jackets. Later.